Hi guys, Corespar 2.0, all the noise actually be here. Welcome back to another review video. And now we're showing you guys another car that I have for quite some time. And this car is actually three years old right now. Actually, the caffeine itself is three years old. Oh, uh, this was this was new for 2021. Three years ago. Uh and the car itself is called the 2006 Pioneer X GTO. And believe not, this one is uh, as a dragster. Yeah. But I got a sex video guys on this one, so let's take a look. This one has a 6 liter V8 to push up 400 horsepower. Uh, it's real dry at the RS emission. This time is for 10 seconds and top speed is 170 miles per hour. Here he's fast, but must have got back in the early and mid 2000s. But do this car is a drag car, and the horsepower is probably over a thousand horsepower. Uh, that ain't good. Now it's probably way faster than uh, possibly one to one second range. And we just have to be having updated too. If 170, already right, probably around 230 miles per hour, making this one very fast and on on the drag strip. And now, we're going to look around uh, on this drag with the GTO, see what this one's about, and see what change they over in the, uh, the all-stock GTO. Let's take a look. We're going to take a look. Oh, yeah. Now, you see here, the hood is totally different because they had two uh, uh, big air scoops uh, to help uh, blow a lot of air into his engine. Uh, especially a drag racing. Now you see here the details are very nice with the front with those headlights, fog lights, the pilot badge, and even the grill itself. Uh, it's very nice. Yeah, on that one. Now it look at now you look at side and uh, more drag racing put on this one. Hey, uh, like, all right, like here though. Small wheels in the front, large wheels in the back. Uh, and oh, he's all having his place right here. The no in the rear, but, but the exhaust is at and there's the front fender. Uh, and there's actually no muffles and resonators. Oh, that's one. Uh, that what dragons are built for. That's supposed to be very loud. Oh, uh, especially at drag strips. Uh, like six, for example, they have a drag strip there. Uh, and you see here the car is always orange. There are uh, two seats in there, but inside there's a roll cage uh, in the back. So yeah, this is a two uh, see a drag car. Oh uh, yeah, it's totally different. And I didn't know the buckets are, are, are totally different. Head tail. And over the standard Pioneer GTO. Now there is a decal on the side. So, a uh, super uh, duty. And it's actually for all the way on. Just some black on there as well. And now look in the rear. Sadly, there's no details in the rear. But you do have a you know, wheelie bar back there. Uh, and a parachute. In the back. Not to go on many drag cars have parachutes in the back to help slow down. But sometimes uh, there are malfunctions. And when the parachutes didn't deploy. And, and the drive they did crash. In fact, yeah, drag racing is quite dangerous though. And, uh, there are a lot of crashes that happen over the years. Uh, drag strips. Uh, I know I'm no, okay, I see some videos of that happen. I never seen that happen in any person before, though. In fact, I never been to a drag strip before. A uh, period. And but one day I will get to a drag strip and see. You know, have it in uh, my eyes. Well, that's it for this morning, guys. And soon enough, though, uh, close to around 8 p.m. I will be the next turn of champions. And so I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you guys in my next video. See you later, everyone.